ask you about Face Off. I guess, I guess first, how exactly did you wind up getting cast in that movie? I got cast in the film Face Off because of John Wu, who is a hero of mine, and he directed that. It was his second American feature after Broken Arrow. And um, he was so incredible. And I had been friends with Chow Yun Fat, who is the star of many of his Hong Kong films and an iconic Chinese actor. And um, so them, along with Michelle Yeoh and I, were in San Francisco together doing a big event for um, Asian actors, Asian storytelling. This is in the 90s. And so I was really lucky to get to be involved in Face Off. And what a big production. I, I know that the film actually, it takes place over a week, but it took us almost a year to shoot. It was um, many, many, many stunts. They actually explode a plane and they really did. This is like 90s action filmmaking where they could, they could actually explode a plane without CGI. This is before so many of these things were created with CGI. We had none of that. We only had planes and explosives. And, um, you know, there was a lot of... Uh, going to um, training camps where you would learn how to properly shoot a gun, properly uh, look like you were in the FBI. And um, John Woo had a lot of um, input on making sure that actors were comfortable with how uh, they were physically portraying these characters. You also had a stunt double that was the pretty much the physical perfection version of yourself, which is really strange. So I had um, a stunt double and I think John Travolta has like, had like five or six of them as did Nicolas Cage. Uh, but we all had either one or more people who were our stunt doubles who were doing the stunts and were just um, ourselves, but perfect versions, which is really funny. All those resources pay off big time. I feel like you yeah. don't get that that kind of classic uh, 90s action style. Any As much as I am wowed by VFX artists, it's just, it's not quite the same. It's not that reach out and touch it kind of feel. Well, there's a really, um, it's a really interesting way of making movies where everything is so real and so true. And when there's... Um, explosives there's explosions i mean that's just a very interesting thing that i had not really seen or been a part of so i was excited to be there how about working with john travolta in particular were there john any expectations going into working with him and did he surprise you in any way well john travolta is just like a modern day king in that there's not really american monarchy but there is in hollywood if you think about it and He's sort of in the last era of the golden age of Hollywood. He's sort of the last movie star in a lot of ways. And so he had this sort of like court around him of different people that he had worked with, his particular crew, whether they were his stand-ins or his, his um, you know, stunt doubles or his uh, crew that he would bring from movie to movie. So you would see like sort of the skeletal, like, remnants of different films he had done over the years. And so that was really interesting. Um, he was a really jovial guy, really fun. We had um, lunch one time in his trailer, he and I, and he ate an entire nine inch boysenberry pie with a fork. No plates, no knives. I, I feel like I maybe I shouldn't be impressed, but I am. <laughs> It's, well, it was after a beef wellington, also. Lots of pastry.